this is the, the the way we're gonna do set up um the scanner so the machine is the one for mp c4504 ex so the first step here is to go to tools then machine features then when the printer features then should be hosting interface no i went somewhere wrong so say exit when you exit there then say system settings then you can go to interface settings then here you can change your ip address the ip you want to give to the machine based on the modem or the router you're using so if you're using a router which starts with this then that's it so you can go down on the router um this is the router i'm using you can look at uh, the gateway you can see the gateway is 192.168.1.8.1 so that is its gateway so that means here you change the last number whatever you want to give it once you're done you say okay then you can go to common gateway which is the common gateway you can see this is the ip address for the router right once you're done we say we're fine with that so once we know that then we can exit if you want you can switch off the machine and switch on back that's it so then i'm going to the machine here uh, i'm going to the oh, computer so the, on the computer what you must be sure your computer must have a username and password right so windows let me go to then you look for command prompt which is gonna be your cmd you double click your cmd once you double click your cmd you're gonna say you can type in here net user if it doesn't work you say net user you space it say enter so while we're gonna get here this name administrator that's what we need you copy that yeah. <laughs> okay, you can see I copy that already. So you go, 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 go. So second thing you go here. Select a folder. It's not opening. It's a bit slow. Okay. After selecting a folder, you look for this PC. In that PC, you go to Drive C. This is C. You, double, you can create anyway, but we use C. Then you go here. You create a folder called scans. Scans. After scans, you say OK. Then you right click on that scans. You say properties. After properties, you can go to sharing after sharing you can come here first and look for users this is the user which is there but you can add any user you can create a user and say oh, let, go, let me go back you say add a user a user is there already this one is there so you can say everyone also you add everyone here you can say read and write whichever user i have there i can also say create new user which is gonna put me here so which you put me there already i have that user i don't need that so close come back again say sharing then you go to advanced sharing on there you say share this folder then on there you say permissions on there you say everyone but we're gonna say full control for everyone then you say apply then you say add I'm gonna add a new user who's gonna be administrator remember our administrator then you say okay you saw administrator this is the administrator guy we give him full control say control full control then you apply then you say okay then you say apply then you say okay 
then after that you can close then you come back here and say properties say security on security authenticated users you can select your administrators say okay you can see everyone has full control but this guy doesn't have full control full control user say edit you give this full control you apply after applying you go to systems this one has you go to administrators they have you go to disk users you give them full control apply apply you go back you edit again you add this is giving me some stress i didn't need i don't need this cancel here you say add sorry let me see add when you say add let me see you put in that administrator word say add when you get him here you can see up here we give him full control then we say apply then okay then okay so then he'll come back we want to get now the urm you can see the urm sharing you copy this all of it then you copy it after copying that you say okay after saying okay you cancel this you cancel everything here you go to your browser here don't forget the ip address we gave to our printer that's what we're gonna put here we're gonna say 192 dot one six eight dot eight dot one hundred you say okay it should log in once you hear you go and say login here always the username is admin small letters no password you say okay then you can go to device management whatever address book at address book here on address book you're gonna say um, add a user after adding a user we want a folder we don't want emails you scroll up okay after adding a user you do that you take next you can see the name required we're gonna use admin. Maybe add mini strata. Whatever name you want to use on the display. Okay. So you can see the display which name you want admin. I always use the same. Okay, once you're done with that, make sure this is on, right? Everything is right there. You go here, you scroll up, then you see this, you can see what we've done. Then you say next. After going next, that's where we copy our URL. Remember, it said path required. That path, the one we copied last time, you paste it there. You can see exactly the way it is. Then you can go here. I ask you for the user, which is add me strata. Okay, administrator. Then our password is what? Twenty one seven eight six. Twenty one seven eight six. Okay. Once you're done with that, we're gonna. If the password is wrong, it's gonna kick us out. But if it's right, it will never complain. You say go to next. You can see it says password confirmation is wrong. So doesn't match. So this is going to be 
21786. Let's try. I told you. Yes. Password worked nicely. You can save it. You go down here, you say OK. OK, after doing that, there are a couple of people who are here. We can delete them, but now we have this admin already. Then what's going to happen now here, we are going to close this. And then we go to our this PC. Then we go to Drive C. Then we go to Scans. Here, I'm going to scan. Then we see if we can get something. I uh, want to scan. Let me scan this. Even if you... Oh, scan. I'm going to scan something. We see if we won. I can put it in the page like this. But it has a staple here, so I can't do that. Need, need it. Never put anything in the machine which has a step or so. You can see what we're scanning. Put it in here. Say Bismillah. You can look for scanner. Okay, you can see it has a lot of people here. Admin sphere is not there. So what are we going to do? We can switch off the machine and back on so that it can remember so let me switch off the machine yeah guys what we do you know sometimes you find it here on emails so when you say in emails it's going to show you people connected by emails the thing we did was for uh we scanning to folder right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it in here as we did so then i'm gonna select here up then we do to folder so when we set to folder, you can see that we have our administrator here. Select this guy and uh, we say start. Once we say start, it's going to go through. Then we're going to go and check if everything went 100%. So it's a authentication with the destination has failed. Check settings to, to the current user status. Press scan, files, whatever. So that I understand. So I'm going to go fix up the authentication issue once i'm done with that then everything is gonna be fine coming back but everything is done for now i'm gonna come back yeah guys we have our scans here uh i got it right but what did the what what changes did i do i'm gonna show you the changes i did um what i did i went to the same folder our scan folder you're gonna try it a couple of times you might get issues but you will get right if you follow me so you go to disk again you go to your scans that folder you go back to properties i find that the administrator used it was rejected by the pc i got sharing and i say share advanced share user is fine here you leave it like that uh you go here you go to permissions then you can see i created another person called user added you see administrator they didn't like this administrator so when didn't die, like him i deleted that administrator i say add then i added a user so when i added a user which is called user the same one on the on the command prompt you can see user you use this one user you add that user here you say add you type in user then you check for like for instance if you say like and check it will give you then you say okay once you say okay this one is not kicked out you can see since it's not kicked out it's fine you say okay you say apply you say okay okay so once you're done with that you can then go to security you look for that user when you say you can see user if you don't have you can say advanced you can see it shows all full control full control full control right so by then you can go back to uh this user then you can say edit if you want to edit on edit that's when you're gonna add that user you can see we have him here. if you don't have him you also do the same thing you check 
you type in user that is this user then you check then you say but anyway <coughs> whatever name you're gonna find on your command prompt let me get you to i don't want you to get confused guys here use the name you see here up on command prompt i don't think you can see well but that name code user is the one you have to use in those steps once you're done with all that you apply you say okay but you make sure everything is full control full control if you click on that user you can see it has full control and say okay then you close this then you go to your browser you put in that 192 one black sign 168.8.100 once you're there you say okay remember then you can go and say login up there then you use admin admin no password all small letters you say enter once you enter you go to address book here you can see how it's fading up my camera you need to focus okay then you say address book on the address book you go to edit Whatever name you're going to give it is going to work. Administrator is not the username, but it's just the name. You say change. Then you say folder. Then you say basic. Understand. Select these two if you want to send to folder. Folder, then basic. Then you come here. Then you say go next. Then this is, you leave it the way it is. You give it any name. This one doesn't have, doesn't matter. Then you go next. This is where I put the user. You can see user. If you need a password, then you say password. You put in your password here. User. Then password. Right? Okay. Once you're done with that, everything is fine. I'm going to close. I'm going to delete this scan. Cut. No. I'm going to delete. We're going to scan something new. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to borrow this. This time I want to scan two pages. Let the pages face down. I hope I don't get a paper jam because my pages are not right. Okay, then you go to scan. You select folder, not email. Set. Choose this guy admin, he's the one who is here only. Only guy then then it's... okay, it's scanned, then we're gonna quickly rush to the computer. Yeah, you can see. So I'm gonna open this. You can see our scans. Well, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.